The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look at, go across the pond for a little vacation over there to uh, England and also to Germany. We're going to take a look at those and we'll get to what uh, Mr. Z and three or four other people have asked me to go through. And that is this video with Peter Elides. That was the DAX that I posted, folks, first. And then you'll see the same type of pattern. Uh, that we're seeing here uh, in the FTSE. They're both uh, nice ABCDs having a nice rally, and that's pretty much it. We haven't rallied much here, but we're going to take a look at it. Folks, what I'm going to post to you now is what uh, Peter Elides puts on his YouTube. Let me get the first one up here. Uh, this was uh, the market from 1929. Uh, I, I don't know if this is going to happen again. All I know is it's it's working exactly like it like it should be if that's the case. So if we take a look at this first one, you can get this on YouTube. Uh, just uh, go Peter Elidy, Stock Market Cycles, and you'll find it. This was the high in, in, the, Dow, in the Dow Jones, September 3rd, 1929 at 383. 38 days later, we were making a 61% retracement at the uh, – uh, that there was a uh, just 38 days, okay, and then 56 days later we had to move down. Now we are we are past the 36 days, folks, because that happened on Thursday. That was the big thing that happened. Now here he brought this up to date for you, and I'm going to go over a few charts with you also. But here's the one from 1987. We'll get this up here. You'll see here. There's where we are. Uh, that high was made on August the 25th. 1987, the market came down, rallied up into the uh, Venus, Uranus aspect, which was 61% on October the 2nd. You'll see the gap down on October the 16th. I don't know if this is going to happen this way or not. Maybe it's just a small version of it. Maybe it's larger. Maybe it's nothing. All I all I know is that it's following along. And the thing you got to remember here, and Peter points it out, is watch Wednesday, that's the full moon, the date of the full moon. Now, lunar cycles have, you know, orbs of two and three days, so it's pretty tough, you know, to, to figure that out. But I've got a series of charts here that I want to go through. I think they're important. They're important to me, so <laughs> it must be important to somebody. Hold on one second here. Let me get the, the first one up here is uh, this one here. This is, uh, th these are some of the reasons why the market is so over overbought folks these are the ones i posted many times before you can see we have record margin debt in, 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 in all aspects i mean it's just everywhere that we have these massive debts uh move another one up here hold on a sec you're here look at evaluations the all-time records i mean these are things that 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 happen during these time periods but people usually don't look at them that that doesn't mean it's not going to happen or anything I, all i'm going to do is to show you a few things that i think are relatively important and this one here uh look at this record volume that we're having i mean this is just an incredible amount of volume that we have going on okay that's just a few of the things now let's get down to the nitty-gritty Hold on just a second here. I want to come up here and make sure I got all of these charts up here. There we go. This is what we want to get to. This is 1987. We want to go to this one. That's the one I want. Just a second. Uh, it's number five. I think it is. Nope. It's number four. Hold on just a minute, folks. Love working under pressure. Okay. Here is the one that I think is just super important. All right. If you look, this, this is from my book in 1987, okay? All right, the book, yeah, 1987. Look at the bottom down here where it says lows to highs, how the Fibonacci numbers lined up on those years, okay? This 55, 21, 13, 8, 5, and 3. Now, Prechter at Elliott Wave did this same thing, and he came up with 19. 
2021. Well, he was off by four days. The high came in January 2022. I mean, that is as spot on as you're going to get. That means all of these things could be topping. And if it, if that is, in fact, the case, uh, this market could really, really scare a whole lot of people. Now, it's following along exactly like it's supposed to be following along, folks. I mean, it's done everything that it's needed to do. And that's the real reason why I'm repeating this over and over again. Uh, it's just truly amazing. Let me let me try to bring this up. I'm hoping I'm able to do it because uh, it's all in the newsletter, folks. I did a video, a long video on this, on why it was important. And uh, I, I think you got to pay you know, really close attention to it. It may or may not work, but protect yourself uh, no matter what. And if it does work, let's hold on to one second here. Get this up here so we can see it really closely here. Hold on. I should have put them in alphabetical order, but I wouldn't think I would be that easy, would I? Uh, shut the front door. Where is it? Uh, I did it so many times. I put it in so many places. Now I can't find it. I mean, that's just typical of... Uh, you know, old age, I guess. Who knows? All right. Let's get. Ah. Well, I'll do it this way. Anyway, here's the NASDAQ. Let's get this up here and see the NASDAQ one. This is the NASDAQ. This is the weakest. Today, it's the strongest. It's still trying to make that 382, I believe. You'll notice here that 38 days came in uh, right at the 50% level, a little bit lower in the NASDAQ. It was absolutely spot on in the S&P. And I know what I did now. I put the S&P probably in the – what did I do with it? Boy, oh, boy, what is going on here? I'm missing something here, folks, and I can't understand why I can't find it. I, Boy, I get ready for these shows. Ah, this is good enough. Let me – yeah, uh, this is what I want. There, I do the cash S&P here. Okay, here's where we are. Peter's premise was that the market would make a top somewhere around the 38 days from the high. And you'll see that's what happened. The 38th day was there on Thursday, okay? That was the high. Now, what he's saying is, if that's the case, we should start down. Now, the $64 question is, are we going straight down from here, or are we going to hold? My guess is we're probably going to hold here today or tomorrow. And then the key day you have to watch, well, you don't have to, but if you're going to watch anything, watch the one of uh, from 19 so that you're able to see what happens on these days. <sighs> boy, oh boy, oh boy, what did I do? I, I get all these things lined up and then I can't find them. I'm embarrassed when I do this, folks. This is getting to be be very, very uh, troublesome to me. To, there it is. Son of a gun. I knew it was here somewhere. Here's where we were in 1987. All right. This is the thing. This is 1987. We had that 61 percent. That was October 2nd when it topped at the 618. That's 38 days, 38 days. Sh time out, folks. My beeper's going off and I've got things on that I've got to uh, I have to pay attention to. So uh, what it is, it's uh, oh, it's just a uh, Nothing. It's just uh, something happening in the. Uh, there we go. Okay, let's get back up here. One second here. Anyway, you'll see that high. Uh, that was October second. Uh, the market came down. Now you see the third arrow there, the third dark arrow. That's the really key one. If there's going to be something really nasty happen, it's going to be on that third arrow, and that comes in on Wednesday, folks. That comes in on Wednesday. That's the equivalent to October sixteenth of nineteen eighty nine. And we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks. And someone asked me, is this going to be like 1929? <laughs> time out. Time out. Nobody knows that. Nobody. I'm, all I'm doing is showing you things that happened in uh, 1929, 1987. And they may, that right now, they're happening exactly like they're supposed to be happening. Is that going to continue? I don't know. Here's what happened, folks. If you go back, you know, this is long before any of us were around here. This is the 1987 crash, folks. You see that second, uh, that was your 61% retracement? Look at the gap that it left here on the 16th. You see the 16th where it closed? That was right midway event. That's where it closed on the 16th. The next day, it opened down 16%. In the Dow Jones, can that happen again? No, because we have. Well, it could because we do have uh, what we call these things called uh, targets, or uh, what they, I, I can't remember that where they what they call these things uh, levels where they can't go beyond, and then they stop trading and then go back on again. I don't think anything like that is going to happen again. I think you're going to see a, the the number of days between the high we made on January 4th and 56 trading days comes into March 4th. And uh, it looks to me like we're going to have something pretty interesting coming in on March 4th. By the way, our guest today will be Shane Smullyan, and there's really no one better to talk about. Circuit breakers. God bless you both. Thank you very much. That's what they're called, circuit breakers. And, boy, they will break the circuits, I can tell you that. But that may or may not have. We haven't had a bad day, folks. We've had a Dow down 900. Well, the next move we have in the Dow Jones will be down 1.618 of 900. That is a... That's a mortal lock, in my opinion. Okay, let's talk a little bit about Norman, who calls it to the minute, Winsky. He said that the Cincinnati Bengals would win the game. Good news, bad news, folks. The good news is the spread gave you the, the win because you had Cincinnati plus four. They lost by three. That means Cincinnati won by one by the bookie, so your bet would have won. The bad news is Norman was wrong about who was going to win, so Norman will be banned forever here at TFNN. We gave him one last chance. 
and he blew it. Norm, if you're listening, of course, we're only teasing. Great analysis of it. The year of the Tiger, they were only one minute, well, 59 seconds away from winning, but a very exciting game. What's amazing, folks, is how the bookies put the line spreads on these things. You think they don't deal in numbers and algorithms? Oh, my God. Of those, I looked at I looked it up, and of those eight championship games we had of the eight teams coming in, of those, seven of the eight was in within three points. I mean, I couldn't believe it. I mean, it's just a cre- incredible how well they can do this. And they have formulas and mathematics just like we do in the market, but that stuff is out there. So remind ourselves that. Someone asked me about the gold market. I think gold had a nice rally here. and Everybody's expecting it to be, uh, you know, crazy. Now, this is what I was looking at this morning here uh, in the AI. I posted this right before we came on the air here because – this is when uh, we saw it happening. That was uh, just almost exactly 11 o'clock, uh, which was the time. Try it again, Larry. Uh, at, uh, was it 11 o'clock? 12, 12 to 1? <laughs> Try it again. This is, this, is, this is Eastern time, folks. Anyway, that was supposed to be a, 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 some type of a top in the, in the uh, gold, whether it happens to be or not. You know, we'll have to... Uh, wait and see but we will have stan harley on tomorrow wednesday will be jim bartoglioni uh thursday uh, i think we're going to have on thursday or friday we m- might be lucky enough to get joe DiNapoli. he's still uh, still on the docket for that and hopefully we'll have uh, one other guest later this week but we will have stan harley this week and Shane Schmolian today, and who was the one? Bartolioni for for Wednesday. So the, all those are uh, very very interesting guests. Okay, now let's move on here for a minute here because the hero. I posted this uh, early this morning here because we had a uh, really nice. This is a 60 minute chart, so it covers the last five or six days. You can see we have three major. Uh, AB, uh, numbers coming down here at uh, 129.14. The low was 129.10. It rallied well over $1,100 already, folks. I couldn't believe it when I saw the thing. Saw the thing hit. I mean, it just it just jumped way up. Now, this is a perfect example of how do you handle that? Well, you know, all I all I can do is to raise my raise the stop up so that you guarantee some type of a profit because if it's moving that fast for heaven's sakes we've seen these markets give up more you know and gain some right away so you've got to be able to go in and, and sort of protect yourself for it that's one of the advantages of the you know that looking at these darn charts uh, as you go through them now I have a, a one I got just two minutes here that I wanted to cover a couple things I was watching Bloomberg over the weekend and one of the Russian officials, uh, they ask him to describe, uh, you know, meeting with uh, with Putin. And he said, oh, he says, I can tell it to you in American terms. He says, when you're looking with, with uh, Mr. Putin, you are looking at someone in the eyes of Don Corleone. So <laughs> there's a pretty good example. When you go over to negotiate with him, you're looking with Don Corleone. And we know what that was all about. Uh, make him a deal you can't refuse. Okay, now let's uh, talk one more uh, thing about these uh, markets as far as uh, the cycles. Uh, do not bet the ranch on any of these things, folks. Uh, they may or may not work. They could change at any time. But all I'm trying to do is showing you the similarities of what's going on. And that's uh, all I can do. And uh, that's the best I can do. These are all patterns related. I'm not looking at anything as far as this is uh, concerned with this. But there's a lot of talk about the $100 oil. I frankly don't think that that is going to be the case or not. Also, if you're in a position, like, like say you're in the position, folks, don't look at the darn charts. It's not worth it. That One of the greatest traders that ever existed was Amos Hostetter, who started Commodity Corporation. I met him twice, both time in a trading environment there at uh, Commodity Corp in Princeton. And by golly, he was, he was using his uh, ticker tape, just like we all had those back in the, the early 70s. And uh, uh, Jay Cross, who had worked with Amos for five years, you know, uh, Jay said, why are you uh, doing or I asked him because Jay already knew the answer. I said, why are you why are you doing this with pork bellies? He said, it keeps my mind off all of my other positions. And he had like six or seven other positions that were huge profits. And some of them had huge drawdowns and then back to new highs and stuff. He just didn't care. He had a he had an outline of what he wanted to see. 
And by golly, if it worked, that's what he wanted to do, and he held it that way. So looking at that monitor, folks, it is not your friend. It is not your friend. You know, uh, okay. Okay, hold on. Uh, all right, I, I would think, uh, hold on one second, folks. Uh, anybody, someone asked where the support will come in on gold. My guess is somewhere between 1840, uh, 1848 and 1838. 1838 is the 382, I believe, of the whole move. So I'm watching that. I don't know where it is right now, but uh, that's uh, that's the 10-4 the of what I'm looking at with the uh, with the gold. So. I certainly hope that helps a little bit. We're if you have any questions this morning for J Shane, it's eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight, and we'll have him on at the break. Then he always does a great job, and boy, he's been he's been spot on on this market, folks. So it's going to be interesting what he's looking at, you know, coming into the future. So all of those are important. So I think we got a break coming up here, and there it is. We'll see you in a few minutes, folks. fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger's den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money back that guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, Shane, Shane, come back, Shane. 
<laughs> it's one of my favorite books. <laughs> oh yeah, Alan Ladd. Yeah, you know he was only five foot three. Did you know that he was a very no, I, tiny fellow? Yeah, I he was really. Yeah, oh, I saw him once uh, in in uh, all the time I was in in that area. Anyway, tell the folks what we're looking at, folks. There's a lot of things going on that are pretty important. So, get a heads up here, Pat. Sure. What do you think's going on? Okay, so I have two two segments here. The first one's on Bitcoin, and the second one's S and P. So what, what would you like to talk about first? What do you think? Uh, let's Bitcoin? go with the S&P. S&P first? Okay, let's do it. Yeah. All right, so S&P. Uh, so I'm going to give you a little summary here, and then we're going to go into what I'm looking at. This is a really interesting time right now. Uh, first of all, the Fed internals are declining, and we talked about this, that this has, been, this has essentially been falling since July. Uh, but it's continuing to get sharper now. So the, the QE will cut to about 25% of the original amount. About by the end of this week, they're talking about having some type of an emergency meeting or a statement could be today. So watch on the markets right now. This is a really dangerous time in terms of what's going on with the Fed because they are cutting back. Now, this is a phenomenon that I've I've observed through the years since 2009, and I and I didn't understand what was happening until I looked at the Fed. But the astro starts to work beautifully when the Fed gets weak. So we're starting to see that again. So the, I underline this in bold. The Astro is beginning to model extremely well as the Fed weakens. So the different indicators that we look at have been modeling these things to the day. I mean, it's crazy. Long-term, medium-term, short-term, the hottest cycle is topping. The planetary stelium index, which we started using, just had a peak on 2.9. And then the transits peaked on 2.9. We'll, we'll get into that. Uh, but you did mention the concept of the circuit breaker. So I do want to show you this real quick just to go through this. This is from Seeking Alpha. Uh, there's three levels of circuit breakers. Level one is 7%. Level two is 13. And then after 325, those um, uh, those cannot be triggered. And we go to a level three, which is a 20% drop. So after 325, the market can fall a lot more. And then it shuts down for the day. So if, in, if anybody's interested in that, that's those are the kind of the official boundaries. It's, it's, it's hard for that to happen. But I just I thought I'd bring it up since, since you had mentioned it. Um, Getting here on the fear and greed, the fear index is pretty low right now on the S&P. It's 31. Uh, but the problem is, as the Fed weakens here, uh, I think you could have greed and price uh, continue to move together because there's just nothing there. The liquidity is drying up, and you're starting to see these huge uh, moves in volatility. So one of the things that we track here is the, the S&P hottest cycle. Now, this is an interesting concept. Uh, I've kind of taken this from... Uh, the playbook of the walk forward analysis that I do where I'm looking for slivers that are advancing into the future. So what this does is this this identifies some hot the hottest cycles. And this is showing the S&P right now uh, past a peak and it's starting to show it falling down here. So uh, this has been forecasting long term moves very well. And this does have us continuing to move down uh, for for the next few weeks here. So uh, I'm going to show you different perspectives. But from that perspective, We've hit a top again, a little subtop here. Now, I talked about the planetary stelium index on your show, and we we did webinars on this and we talked about it. But I want to show you a stelium that's in effect right now. Uh, this was on February the 13th, uh, which was yesterday. Now it's already peaked, so you can see down here. Hopefully, you can see that all of these planets are together down here, and uh, the sun has already moved across that. So essentially, what's happening is this is breaking up now. Uh, but this translates into to moves in the markets because the steliums tend to draw markets up. So I think that's what we saw with this little jog up in the S&P that we had. Uh, we, ha we just have tremendous weakness in the background. And so any of these positive astro events are just kind of pauses in the selling. Uh, they're not really enough to really drive this. Now, I'm going to show you a chart here. Uh, this is really cool. I mean, this is what happened with the steliums. Um, so what we have here on the top is this is the S&P 500 on the top up here. And down here, this is what I call the planetary stelium index. I talked about this on your show. It measures how tight the planets get. So it's not necessarily aspects with the planets, it's just how tight they get together. I guess that's a conjunction, but it's not measuring positive angles, negative angles. It's just measuring how tight they are. So even going back into December when we had that holiday rally, it also was synchronized with the stelium coming up into this letter B here. Uh, this was at, at, in the beginning of 2022. Then it falls down into February here, and the market also falls down into February. It's pretty much modeling this stelium index beautifully. Uh, and then the stelium index goes up into – a. it was right around 2.9 to 2.10. 
Uh, it's still kind of in effect. It's breaking up now. Uh, but you can see the market goes up right into that stelium high. And now it's breaking up and it's going to start to fall. So the market is falling with that stelium falling. Uh, th just a couple of notes here. There, there's four of these peaks coming, just so you know. So we passed two. There's two more coming in the next couple of months. So those are areas where the selling could pause. But then after May, it gets really, really, really scary here uh, for the S&P because the steliums go away. Uh, and so your positive astro energy goes away. So that's that's just one angle. So I showed you two angles here, actually. I showed you the hottest cycle here. And then I showed you the stelium, which is just the planets. So this is what we would expect to see when the Fed gets weak. Uh, I, I've seen this over and over again. Now, one of my favorite indicators is called the general combined transits. What this is, is this is just a composite of hundreds and hundreds of different transits. And it tells us the general moods and sentiment. Uh, and this is this is from our friend Alfie here. Uh, and this this just bit generally shows you the composites of green energy, which is positive energy, similar to like a Bradley versus the red energies here. So I'm showing you these dates here. These were the turning points on this general combined transits. But when you put the S&P on top of it, you start to see that the S&P is now moving with the transits again. It's pretty crazy, guys. This is this is nuts. Uh, this is not an optimized system. This is just how the planets are acting in the sky. Uh, you can see here, I'm over here on the left here. I put the letter A over here. You can see that it goes up into February the 2nd. You can see the market goes up into February the 2nd here. You can see in the letter B here, the market goes down into February the 4th. You can see the market goes down into February the 4th. The transits rise up into 2.9 here. This was the peak at 2.9. You can see the market goes up into 2.9. I mean, this is this is what you want to see if you're a, 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 a an astro forecaster for markets because the Fed is getting away and the natural forces are coming back. And so the moods of the people are dictated by what's going on up there in the sky. Uh, and you can see that we fall down here into 2.11. The market falls down into 2.11. Uh, th then the transits rise. Now, there's just a little bit of a peak here today on 213, uh, 213 to 214. 213 was actually open last night. Uh, and then this starts heading back down again. And the rest of this month is pretty red. So, uh, I, you know, I, I, I'm very happy. It warms my heart to see these charts working again because they, every time the Fed gets weak, these charts, these charts pinpoint the turns. And in 2011, when we had the summer meltdown, these general combined transits pinpoint the exact day of that bottom. Uh, so I, I just I'm really happy to see this because we track the Fed and I like the Fed and that's important. But it's nice to see the Astro working again. Uh, we have other indicators, too, like the polar R squared. Uh, this caught the, the, the high. This this actually did catch the high on two nine. Uh, and this has nothing to do with Astro. This is just reg a regression indicator. Uh, but it picks this high right up here on two nine. And this catches the move down. So. You know, no matter how you look at this, uh, the models are starting to look pretty good. They sure do stay with us, folks. Shane Smolian, WolfTrader.com. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back with Shane Smolian, and WolfTrader.com. And Shane, we have uh, Gary from Michigan uh, asking a question. Gary, you want to ask Shane your question? Okay, and guys, I, I love you both, and I think you're amazing, both of you. So I'm going to make this short and quick. Shane, um, what is it about the double-optimized lunar? That is incredible that that is so right on that you have told, said before, you do that actually before the month starts. And what is it? How, that, how does that work? I'm just curious. But it's amazing the tr the, how it tracks. Thanks, Thank Gary. I appreciate much. that. Uh, okay, let's talk about that. So this is a this is this is a new technology that I've developed. Um, so okay, so the basic idea is that most astro traders. So I'll give you an example here. We'll go back to we'll go back to Bitcoin here. Uh, I I know we haven't even talked about this yet, but most astro traders run things called they call they call them efficiency tests, right? So they look at how the market has done in the past, right? So I this was the Bitcoin example where the sun was conjunct Saturn, and they go back and they say. During this transit or this aspect, the market behaved this way, you know, 100% of the time or 80% of the time. And that's what we talked about with the Bitcoin conjunction. And if we have time, we'll get to that. The only problem with that is that's not always true. Uh, what happens in the past is not always going to be what happens into the future. And so one of the things that I focus on is, is writing mechanical trading systems, algorithms, coding. And then we have a special optimization program that we've had rebuilt that helps us forecast into the future. So what I do, the reason it's called double, is I've taken the astro indicator, which is the lunar, and then I've put it through actually three or four different layers now. It's actually called a quad lunar. I left it as double lunar. But we take it and put a look forward technology onto it that's not just saying, hey, or how, here's, here's how it behaved in the past. We're saying, now we're going to take that and we're going to merge it with technology to see how it performs into the future. So every forecast you get, was put through a, a whole standard of, of an additional layer of forecasting how that can do into the future. So everybody knows that cycles have lows and highs and peaks and troughs. But everybody also knows that when you have a cycle, sometimes you have these, these, these shifts to the left and sometimes you have these shifts to the right. And so sometimes the high doesn't come at the peak, it comes before. And sometimes the low doesn't come at the bottom, it comes after. So what this does is this allows us to identify um, – if the, if the low is going to be a left translation, a right translation on the bottom, and so that's why we're able to give these forecasts out a month in advance, uh, and and it's 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 crazy. Even for me, when I look at this, it's crazy, uh, and and the fact that this was able to keep track with the S and P, it just kind of blew me away. I mean, I I mean, 
th this top red line here is the S&P in red. And the, the double lunar is down here. And you can see this thing kept up with the S&P even during the bull run. I mean, th this this is going back to 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 March of, of 2021, and the S and P was roaring here, and just when it crosses down, the double lunar overtakes it here, but it even kept up with the S and P during a bull. So it, it's it's about the optimization methods and not just saying, hey, look, this happened in the past; it has to happen in the future. We have to be able to do what's so it's a special look forward or walk forward technology, but we've actually built that out to a whole new level and custom built that. So it's combining two different worlds or two different technologies together and not just saying the past is gonna equal the future. Hopefully that answers the question. It does, thanks so much. I'm gonna let you guys go at it. Be well, both sure. of you. Yeah, sure. Shane Thank will you, save Gary. you the $20. He's got more money than me. <laughs> hey, Shane, let's go ahead and let's talk about Bitcoin because it's uh, rocking and rolling okay. also. So give sure. us your best, uh, two, your okay, best so uh, analysis let's of that. Now, now I'm starting. To, I'm starting to warm up to Bitcoin here. I, I, I there was a. I couldn't under, I didn't understand it for a long time. So I started doing these charts on Bitcoin. I'm doing a series on Bitcoin and the Uranian vibration because we're in the age of Aquarius, and Aquarius is ruling decentralized power, decentralized uh, government, internet, all this stuff. So Bitcoin is really symbolic of this. Um, so I'm starting to warm up to the concept of this. Now Bitcoin had to sell off from the November highs to the January lows. And and we were we were pretty good with that forecast. We were able to forecast it, but it's at a short-term bottom right now, which we'll get into. Uh, it's modeling well on solar cycle, hot cycle. It's also modeling well with the astro. But I do think it's probably going to have a depressed year along with equities. The question is, in a year or so, when all hell breaks loose with the central banking and the financial system, what's going to come out on top? And and this is an area of focus that I'm looking at now, and I'm very interested in Bitcoin. Uh, looking into the future. So for those in the currency section, I'm going to be doing a webinar on this and talking about this. But I think Bitcoin has a future, uh, and, and, I, and I understand it a little bit more now. Um, so we get into the hottest cycle of Bitcoin. This was the actual forecast that we had, uh, and, 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 and we did have a high here. Now, notice this is where the graph stops here in November. And uh, you can see it forecasts this whole decline here, and it actually catches this, this bottom here uh, on this hottest cycle. Uh, and, and, and a hottest cycle, it, it's, not, it's not using the exact technology of the double lunar, but it's the same spirit and tech, uh, of it that we're looking for something that's running hot at the moment. And, and that's, that's what it is. Now, getting into um, what I talked about with like a traditional uh, astro forecasting model would be if you looked at an efficiency test and you looked at how did it do in the past. So I like to look at conjunctions. And, and, and Saturn's a good one, okay, because Saturn is a very, very strong planet. It rules timing. And so when we look at the conjunction of, of, of uh, the sun with Saturn, and this occurred back on February the 4th, uh, we can see how this, how this works with Bitcoin. So when this occurs, Bitcoin has a pretty good track record of making a low into here. So uh, I posted this on the webinar and so what I'm going to show you here, this is, this is the actual how it looks in terms of the efficiency test. Now, this is from Alfie's program, and I use his program in conjunct with other programs to kind of get all of those optimizations down. But if you just looked at what it has done in the past, Bitcoin likes to rally off of this conjunction with the Sun and Saturn. Now, I'm not a big fan of doing just one aspect. I like to do the steliums. I like to do the general combined trends. I like to look at hundreds of planets, combinations thereof. But this one's pretty good. So uh, we expected Bitcoin to be making a short-term low into here. We're about halfway through this, maybe a little bit more. If you do look at how it performs in the past, uh, from the dates uh, January the 20th through uh, February 19th, it's up 100% of the time the last eight, uh, the last eight cycles. So it, and so far it is, it's trying to rally off of these lows. Um, the rest of the markets are kind of depressing everything. And Bitcoin has become more correlated with equities. It, it used to not be correlated at all. And now it kind of is because it's become a little more mainstream. Um, if, if you just if you look at uh, a, a bigger run, if you want to go a little bit further out, it's still up about 75 uh, percent of the time if you go all the way out to March the 1st. Now, again, this is not the double lunar technology. This is just a simple um efficiency test is how did it do in the past and, and look these can be useful uh, I don't want to discount this I, d I do look at this uh, but we would have expected Bitcoin to rally and, and it and it definitely is so that's you know that is something that we do look into on occasion if it's a big planet like Saturn if it's a conjunction yeah I'll look at it uh, if it's a retrograde I'll look at it 
uh, you know, the, these and sometimes the retrograde planets they 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 have the the effect just a few days around the the, the station. So it could be three days before, three days after. But this is just something I posted on the webinar just to k- kind of give people an example of of what you know what could be coming in the next month. I, I think Bitcoin should have been strong here. You can see here on this graph. This is the February 4th uh, low here on the graph, and it ra- and it starts to do that rally. Hey, listen, stay with us, Shane. We're good. Sure. This is really good stuff. Uh, we'll be right back with Shane Smolian, folks. WolfTrader.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, we're back, folks. We're chatting with Shane Smoley and WolfTrader.com. Shane, we have a question from one of our listeners. Is if you could give us your, your skinny on what you think is happening with the gold market. Okay, that's a, that's a good question. So I, I run the hottest cycle on uh, oil, gold, Bitcoin, and S&P. Now, I just re- so gold had a, originally had showed us coming to a high here. But when I re-ran the hottest cycle, it showed, it, it showed the rally extending another month. So that's interesting. So so it adapted to what was happening. It sh- showed it going out about another month. Now gold is interesting because I think gold you have to chalk it up as a disappointment here with with this inflation. I mean, you would have thought that it would have gone up more, and I I, I think that speaks to the strength of Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin is is an emerging player, and 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 the one thing that people we got to understand when we talk about limited <clears throat> supply of gold or Bitcoin. Look, gold has a limited supply, but Bitcoin's kind of siphoning some of that off now. I think gold should have been going up a lot more than it is, and so we were probably, you know, 
it could it could have issues here if Bitcoin really emerges as a player, longer term. Wow. Wow, that's um, uh, really good stuff. Sure. Okay. Now I have a question, uh, yeah. Shane. When when you run these programs, are you always using Alfie Lavoie software? Not always. Um, sometimes I'll use his software. Like for example, the Fed use nothing to do with his software. The Polar sure, Square nothing not, to do yeah. with it. But okay. I do pull information from his software and put it into the set software B, let's just say, and then software C is optimizing it. Yes, it's in a very important part. Alfie's software is the is a critical component of what we do. He his software is the best in terms of Astro. Yeah. If you guys ever yeah, want to get it, that it's, stuff, it's, yeah. I'm going to have Alfie on. Hope maybe even this week to talk to him because it's really inexpensive and people that are good with computers can actually can actually do it. Uh, uh, pretty nicely. Now we have one other question, and that is about the interest rate and Treasury bond market. Any, any hope for the folks that maybe bonds and notes will hold these levels? You know, that's 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 a really tricky market right now to to call with the Fed. Um, I, I, you know, that's I, why you get that's why you get the big bucks, Bubba. Well, I, <laughs> well, I, I let, let's come back to that question on the next show. <laughs> okay. Hey, thanks for joining us, folks. Thanks, James Larry. Okay. You bet. Wolf Trader. Com. We'll have him on soon. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. Thanks a lot. We'll see you all tomorrow.